Hey, what's up everyone? We're back here at Dan's bike shop because uh, you know why? Um, we're finally gonna do a test ride with the SLR. Let's go! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You're gonna go to the cajon rigor. Review on the SL5. I'm not gonna do uh, an in depth ride with this one, wherein I will take it to a long ride or I will uh, take one week to get a good grip on what the bike really is about because this bike is just like my Amanda. Uh, the only difference is that it's over a kilogram lighter. So, this is the top end model, it's equipped with SRAM Red ETAP AXS. So, basically the best things money can buy. So as you probably can tell, we're going up to Sai. For Nan, this is mga magbukol. For my Nan, Cebuano viewers, this is where we did our Everything challenge. We did 19 repeats of this climb. It's uh, it, it's an eight kilometer climb. I took the Imonda SLR here. As I've said, it's about 99% the same with my Imonda SL. So that one kilogram difference, you can only feel when you're climbing. For now, I'm gonna stop vlogging and I'm just gonna give it a good go higher up uh, to see what it really feels to the crest of Buak. The very reason why I tested this bike here is that this bike is 99% the same with my with my Trek Emonda SL and that 1% though is around a kilogram difference in weight and that will not matter if I put this bike on a flat road and uh, I'm gonna tell you more when I'm done with this climb. Ah. Alright, so the reason why I didn't do an extensive review of the SLR is that it's basically the same frame as I have with my Emonda SL. It is the same tube shape, the same geometry, so the ride characteristics, the stiffness and all of that is the same. But the biggest difference is it's an almost one kilogram difference just coming from the frame set. That is a huge weight savings in just the frame alone. So the only way I could really differentiate my Emonda SL to that Emonda SLR Project 1 is going up a hill. And boy, that bike really really feels nice to ride. Yes. Guys, kung ko guys sa serve sa klaro so why is it so expensive then if it's just around a kilogram difference? My Trek Amanda SL as constructed is spec like an SL6 Pro. Ultegra group set with Aeolus Elite wheels 
and an SL6 Pro is priced at around 230,000 pesos. So is it really just a kilogram difference and you pay over double on the Project 1? Well, that's a big no. For starters, look at that amazing paint job. You only get that on Project 1 along with other jaw-dropping paint schemes. Next, under that beautiful paint job is an OCL V800 carbon frame, Trek's most high-end and latest carbon. And as I've said, it's almost a kilogram lighter than the SL, just the frame alone. This bike is also specced with the RSL 37 wheels from Bontrager, a subsidiary from Trek. They are super light. The Project One bikes actually starts from 400,000 pesos and moves up as soon as you spec it with higher end components. This one right here is specced with SRAM's flagship model, the SRAM Red ETAP AXS. It is wireless so it looks super clean. You can also spec it with Durace DI2, whichever you prefer. And the shifting on these top end electronic group sets feels like a dream. Combine all these factors, you can choose the paint scheme, you can mix and match colors, you can choose your components, Heck, you can even have your name painted on the top tube. This allows for a truly bespoke build. A bike, an experience truly unique to the buyer. Bro, for the sake of the viewers, bro. Ano, ano? Magkano magagasto pag gusto ng Project One Icon Bike? Kung ganito, abot ka siguro kung high-end nasa mga 600 lang. Mga 650, 660. 650, 680. Depende sa kulay. And specs. Benta nyo na kidney nyo. <laughs> Sulit naman, di ba? Kitang kita. Hmm? Alright, so the question is is the bike worth it? 680k for a bike. Well, unfortunately I am in no position to answer that question. As you might know that bike is way above my pay grade. But, if you're somebody who's in the ballpark of buying Pinarello F12s Specialized SL7s, the old 3 XR4s, the super bikes, the Trek Emonda SLR Project 1 Icon uh, might be a very, very good option because uh, you'll end up buying a bike that is a truly bespoke build, custom paint. You can mix and match your colors, you can choose components and all this stuff all right if i'm going to be honest me buying this sl6 pro that i'm riding is already a little bit of a stretch for me that's why i'm super thankful to dance bike shop to jamie ramirez for giving me the privilege to ride these kinds of bikes especially that slr so for the people that can really afford that bike and then decide to pull the trigger what a bike you see People who are able to afford these bikes have a different meaning of what's sensible. Cyclists already are a little bit off when it comes to being sensible in purchasing parts. Let me address that part first. I guess for people who find the bike and the price out of reach and preposterously expensive may never understand. But for some, a bike like the Imonda SLR Project 1 is worth every penny of their hard-earned money. What I know is that they are not just buying a piece of bike. They are buying a piece of technological advancement. They are buying an experience and what an experience they will have. I guess what I'm trying to say is that if you're anything like me, who really, really likes the bike, but just finds it a little bit too expensive, then just like me, the bike is not for you. And even if I have that kind of money in my bank account, I wouldn't spend it on a bike. It would just be a little irresponsible. Although I wouldn't lie, I'll be tempted to. The Emonda SLR is a bike that is made for the pros and the Project One, especially the Icon paint jobs, are created for the people who want the equipment the pros use and, and sort of make it their own. Don't get me wrong, it's a superb bike but if it's not in your budget, the SL isn't really that far behind. You get the same mold, you get the same ride characteristics, just a little bit heavier. But if you have the money, if I have the money, I'm probably gonna get the Imonda SLR Project 1 and I'll take that prismatic pearl paint job that's really nice.